All right, what's up, guys? So, in this video, I'm going to talk about how to do instant while running and what exactly instant while running is. So, uh, first of all, I want everyone to know that these tactics that I'm showing on uh, Tekken 6 uh, apply in exactly the same way in Tekken Tag 2. As I mentioned in the first movement tutorial that I did, um, there are two types of running states in this game. There is the true running state, which is what happens when you hit forward forward from far away from your opponent and you begin running. And there are certain moves like the ultimate tackle that I just showed you right now and uh, a bunch of other moves that are uh, accessible from a true running state. However, there are certain moves like in Armor King's case, a running exploder, which is what you just saw, or a running slash kick, or a shining wizard, which you can do from a running state, but the game also allows you to do these moves from an instant while running state. Uh, instant while running state is the concept of accessing a running state from a position where there is no room to actually run. So if I'm right next to my opponent, I will be able to do a running move without actually running. And the way you do this is you do forward, neutral, forward, neutral, forward plus the move. But it's kind of difficult to do this out in the open, right? So the concept behind instant while running is masking the first forward in this command into the recovery of a move. So let's uh, just make up a scenario. In this case, uh, this is a good way to practice this actually. You have your opponent crouch in practice mode and you whiff a jab over his head. Now what this does is you're already as close as possible to your opponent. But when you whiff the jab, you're getting even closer to your opponent. What this does is makes it so that there is literally no space between your character and your opponent's character. That way you will know that you're doing a true instant while running move. So in this case you will hit one. Before the one has recovered, you buffer forward and then when the, the, the one jab recovers, you hit forward forward two plus four in order to get the instant shining wizard. So the key here is you mask the first forward in the recovery of the jab and then you do this, the second and third forward after the jab has recovered. Now let me try to do it right here. So that is a true instant shining wizard. The reason you know it's a true instant shining wizard is because you're so close to your opponent that there is no space for you to run whatsoever. Um, another good way to practice this is if you pick Dragonoth and hit with his crouch dash 2, if you do forward 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 two after that as a juggle and it connects as a combo not techable then that means you did it perfectly because that is uh, extremely strict timing uh, in an instant wall running move so now that I've explained how to do it you're wondering well why is this important well in Tekken 6 there are several combos setups tech traps and just uh, almost countless amounts of tactics that revolve around being able to access things like running slash kicks or um, certain characters have unique slash kicks. Um, there's all kinds of moves in this game that are accessed from an instant running state. And being able to do these moves from up close it just gives you an exponential advantage over your opponent. It's something that at least for characters like Armor King and King and Dragonoff and Julia, Law, all these characters benefit just immensely from being able to do this. Um, so it's an extremely important tactic to practice. And as I mentioned, even if you don't play Armor King, I highly recommend practicing with his instant shining wizard on a crouching opponent. So I'm going to try and do it again. Hopefully I don't mess it up for this uh, video, but that's how you do it. You, you have the opponent duck, you whiff a jab over their head, forcing your character to be as close as possible to your opponent's character, and then you hit forward forward as soon as you recover the jab, and you hit throw. And 
the faster you can hit the second and third forward, the faster the move will come out. And the more it will look like just a standing throw without a running animation. And that's kind of the goal. You want to reduce the running animation to zero. To, I mean, if you reduce it down to one or two frames, or I think the minimum possible is like four frames. If you can reduce it down to four frames, then it's almost invisible to the naked eye. And you are accessing running moves where you have no space to run. You're doing combos that are, you know, very high damage. You're doing setups, getting frame advantage with slash kicks when you're up close. I mean, I cannot stress enough how important it is to be able to do this when you need it. So, um, just to recap exactly how to do this. You do a jab, or any move in the game. I don't want you to think because I'm showing it with a jab that you have to do a jab. You could do literally any move in the game. You could do forward three, you could do down three, you could do down two. It doesn't matter what you're doing. You could even do it out of a crouch dash. Any move in the game, what you do is you do that move, and before the move recovers, you hit forward, and then after the move has recovered, you quickly hit four forward plus the command of the running move. So, in the case of running three, it's jab forward, four forward three. So, jab forward, four forward three. That's how you do it. Now, the, the last thing I want to mention about this is that this is a rhythm-based tactic. And there are not many rhythm-based tactics in Tekken 6. So, hypothetically, if you get the timing down for this, you can practice it when you're nowhere near the game. Much like how some uh, Street Fighter players... Practice pianoing. Uh, pianoing is how you do uh, Blanca's electricity or uh, Honda's hundred hands. You can practice that away from the game. You don't need to have the game on to train your hand to do it. And this is kind of similar. As long as you get the rhythm of instant while running down, you can practice it when you're away from the game. And uh, I rec recommend that you do practice it because it's extremely valuable. Uh, anyway, if uh, you guys have any questions or if uh, there's anything that I haven't explained as uh, clearly as possible, feel free to ask. I uh, read most of the comments that are, um, you know, that people put in the videos I put up. So, uh, yeah, just leave a comment if you have any questions and subscribe to this YouTube channel. I'd appreciate that. And I will catch you guys later.